Hi! Welcome to KMath TV. In this video, you will learn how to find the least common multiple or LCM of the numbers. Let's find the LCM of these pairs of numbers using different methods. To find the least common multiple or LCM of the numbers, we can use any of these methods. Listing method, prime factorization, and continuous division. Okay, for the first problem, let's use the listing method to find the least common multiple or LCM of 3 and 5. In listing method, we will list the multiples of the given numbers until we find a number that is common multiple of the given numbers. By using skip counting, we can list the multiples of the numbers. Okay, let's skip count by 3. So, skip counting by 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and so on. We will just stop here. And write also the multiples of 5 to check whether there is already a common multiple. Let's do the skip counting by 5. Okay, 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay, let's stop here because there is already a common multiple. The number that is present in the multiples of 3 and multiples of 5 is 15. So this is the least common multiple of 3 and 5. This is the LCM. This is the smallest number that is a multiple of 3 and 5. Next, let's get the LCM of 8 and 12. This time, let's use the prime factorization. In prime factorization, we will get the prime factors of the given numbers using factor 3. Okay. Okay, think of two numbers that if we multiply, the product is 8. Okay, 2 and 4. 2 times 4 equals 8. 2 is a prime number. 4 is a composite number, so... Let's find the prime factors of 4. Okay. So, the prime factors of 4, 2 and 2. 2 times 2 equals 4. 4 times 2 equals 8. These are the prime factors of 8. Let's write here. 8 equals 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 equals 4. 4 times 2 equals 8. Let's get also the prime factors of 12. Okay, what are the two numbers that can we multiply and the product is 12? Okay, 2 and 6. 2 times 6 equals 12. 2 is a prime number. 6 is a composite number. So, let's find the prime factors of 6. Okay, so what are the two numbers that can we multiply to get the product 6? Okay, 2 and 3. 2 times 3 equals 6. 3 is a prime number. 2 is a prime number. These are the prime factors of 12. Let's write here. 12 equals 2 times 2 times 3. 2 times 2 times 3. Okay, next, let's find the common factors okay two counted as one this so one counted as one okay now to find the lcm let's multiply all the prime factors so two times two times two times three okay two 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 and 3. Multiply. 2 times 2 equals 4. 4 times 2 equals 8. 8 times 3 equals 
24. This is now the LCM of 8 and 12. This time, let's find the LCM of 12 and 18 using continuous division. In continuous division, we will divide the given numbers by their common prime factor. Okay, what is the number that can divide 12 and 18? We can divide 12 and 18 by 2. Okay, 12 divided by 2 equals 6. 18 divided by 2 equals 9. Next, let's divide 6 and 9. What number can divide 6 and 9? They are both divisible by 3. Okay, let's divide them by 3. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. Okay, the quotients 2 and 3 are prime numbers. So we will stop dividing now because their only common factor is 1. Now, to find the LCM, we will multiply the prime divisors and the last quotients, these numbers. Okay, let's multiply. 2 times 3 times 2 times 3 equals, okay, 2 times 3 equals 6, 6 times 2 equals 12, 12 times 3 equals 36. The LCM is 36. Last example. Let's find the LCM of 9 and 15. Let's use the continuous division. Okay, 9 and 15. Okay, what prime number can divide both 9 and 15? Okay, they are divisible by 3. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. 15 divided by 3 equals 5. Okay, 3 and 5 are both prime numbers. So we will stop dividing now because their only common factor is 1. Now to find the LCM, we will multiply the prime divisor and the quotients, th these numbers. Let's multiply 3 times 3 times 5 equals 3 times 3 equals 9. 9 times 5 equals 45. The LCM of 9 and 15 is 45.